Alright guys, it's the uh, Crazy Pet Kid 16, here with an update. Um, Alright, uh, to start off, um, everyone knows that uh, both my platy died. Um, my red wag platy. Um, one was a male, one was a female. They both died because uh, of territorial issues, and uh, they both died from their injuries they did to each other. So, um, they both died. However, they did leave Fry um, about 8 to 10. I'm estimating, because um, I've at one point they were all out above this rock, and uh, I counted as many as I could, and there's about eight, and so I'm guessing eight to ten maybe, and uh, they like to hang out up here, and that's their chill zone. But uh, as of right now, they're uh, all over the place. Uh, I guess I'm just kind of getting them excited or something. But um, anyways, so um, there is a good bit of platy fry in here. Um, when they get big enough, um, of course I'm going to let them grow up in here, but once they, once they start to develop color, um, I'm going to give, uh, most of them away to my little neighbor who has an aquarium, but he only has one guppy, so I'm going to give him, uh, the platy fry, and, uh, he's going to keep those, and I'll probably keep a pair of platy, no, I'll probably keep one, actually, because I don't want any issues to happen again, so, um, anyways, moving on, uh, where is I? Oh, yeah. Right. My filter. Um, as you know, it was over here. Um, but I had a problem with it. Cause see how the water line comes out on the left side? And then the filter is over here. Well, if you drag it over here, then the water line comes out over here while the filter is in this uh, far back corner. Therefore, like... Okay. Um, anyways. Therefore, the water pushes all the all the junk that heads towards the filter the water stream pushes all the junk away and back down under here so um... therefore the filter really wasn't getting the chance to suck up anything so i moved it over and now it has all the space to suck everything up and down here and around and uh... also it's a good idea um... about every three months or so to uh... switch your filter over so that way it can suck up the stuff that's been kind of sitting on the floor so um... I'd changed that, and uh, my water line has gotten a little low, so I'm uh, just going to fill that up real quick. And uh, just give me just a second here. And then that fills that. And now for the last thing. He's a little ticked off today, I guess. I don't know what to do with today. Anyways. I'm going to teach you this little trick that uh, I like to call your fish can read. Um, first of all, I have this sign that says, swim to the surface. And you can trick your friends saying that your fish can read this. And when they read it, they swim to the surface automatically. And uh, the trick behind this is, every time you feed your fish, automatically, straight up they go. Well, most of them at least. And as you see, these two have already learned the trick. Um, Anyway, so when they see this, they think they're about to get fed. And uh, so they swim up top, uh, waiting for the food. Because uh, if you do it correctly and you show this to them every time you feed them, then um, eventually you can get to the point where you just show this to them and then bam, they're all just straight up there. So, um, therefore, giving your friends the illusion that your fish know how to read and know how to swim to the surface. And, um,. They cooperated pretty well, so I'll just give them a little reward. And, uh, Spot's a little hungry today. Yeah. Just gonna flick off that seed. And, um, so anyways, uh, a good rule of thumb about feeding is, um, before you feed, some people like to stick their fingers in the water. Um, I personally don't. I mean, it doesn't matter. Uh, I do when I have to, but... Um, anyways, jeez, jeez, spot, you fat lard, there's plenty of food for everybody. Alright, I'm gonna have to, uh, find a solution for this, um, in just a minute here. Anyways, um, I'll try and finish this video. Um, hopefully they'll cooperate. Um, where was I going with this? Um, 
gosh. Oh, yeah. Okay, so when you feed your fish, it's a good idea to wash your hands, of course. But when you wash your hands, do not use soap. The soap has chemicals that um, when you stick your hands into the water, your fingertips, whatever, that um, it leaves harmful chemicals into the water for your fish. So um, always wash your hands before you put your fingers in the water, hand, arm, whatever. You have to change around the props. But um, wash your hands with warm water, and that's it, just warm water. And uh, that should be good. And uh, uh, I've never really got a chance. Uh, I'll show you inside my cabinet. Um, this is my receipt from PetSmart. Um, I have uh, old goldfish food that uh, these fish still eat. I'm trying to finish this off. Cause, um, and of course, next I'll buy uh, tropical food. But I'm just going to finish that off and they eat it. So, what the heck, why not? Down to my last um, tablet. Um, this is real tropical food, but I'm saving this. Um, I have one top bin filter cartridge, and then a top bin color enhancing food. And then down here, I have my um, cleaning magnets. And uh, it's really ridiculous, if you ask me. At PetSmart, they sell these for about $15. Whereas, you go to Walmart, get them just as good for about 6 bucks, And that's how much I got these for. And they're fantastic, and I... Uh, I enjoy them. Oh, stupid. I don't enjoy them, but, uh, they're very helpful. Um, and then right here is my net. Uh, whenever there's, like, a bunch of, oh, I've never really had any bunch of stuff, but, uh, whenever, uh, too much waste is settled onto the plants, I, uh, use this to kind of shake them around, you know, and then, uh, it just gets sucked up into the filter. And this bowl is here so that when it's wet, it doesn't kind of leak through and stain onto the wood or uh, cause water damage or anything. So, um, that's that. And, uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up this video. Um, I'm going to have to find a solution for, uh, old polka dot over here. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's, he just is having a bad day or something. Um, I doubt it, but, uh. Anyways, be looking out for updates. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, um, message me. Uh, anything would be great. Uh, thanks for watching.